Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hat. Without further ado, it's the Morning Gardeners Show. Okay, I'm back out here. And I'm just show you the yard to get a good look at it. It's been a lot of updates. Now, this is the beginning of my, my um, wood chips being added in. See some added a little bit around that tree. I'm going to keep you updated on what's going on with it. There's some there. And I got some more up here at the front. You can see. Um, had a delivery yesterday. That's about 20,000 pounds of uh, wood chips. Okay, here we are. I'm going to try to use my contraption here to move some of this uh, wood chips. Two trash cans. Uh, let's see. Shovel and a brake. Yeah, gas in the battery. So let's see what we got. Okay. It is now. Uh, let's see what time is it? 3:08. I've been working with this little contraption I put together um, for uh, it ain't been that long since, since about I guess about 12 o'clock, 12. So I like this contraption. Got more done than. Just a wheelbarrow. Let me show you what I've done. Around the trees is fresh mulch, six inches off of the trunk of the tree. Now these little young trees, I'm gonna see what effect that mulch will have on them. It will stimulate microorganisms, and in turn, it will keep them moist. Uh, it will keep the roots zone warm during the winter. And there we go. Over here. Next to my compost pile and some buckets. I gotta get those buckets put up back up for the evening. I'm thinking about knocking off after about two more loads. And then we got the pumpkin still in there. And uh, we got my leaf pile here. We're gonna spread them out all over the whole ground. And then we're gonna go over them with some, uh, with some wood chips. Now back here, these are not done yet. But I'm just getting enough down so when it rains tonight, they can retain a little bit more moisture. Also over here, I've got these. That's a blackberry over here, and that's also my raspberry bush. I might do those with leaves right now. Uh, over here, I planted some garlic yesterday. That one that's open, and I'm putting leaves over top of it for the nights up. And over here, you can see my cherry tree. It's been mulched real good. Got to get a little bit more of that off the, off the trunk because you want at least six inches back. There you go. There we go. That's better. Now, I uh, got a grapevine here somewhere. Oh, here it is. That one's been mulched up real good. That's going to retain moisture, uh, stimulate microorganisms the same, and in turn will produce sweeter, tastier grapes. That's what it's going to do. And over here is another cherry tree and uh, same deal there also I got a little tiny Thompson here I'm gonna dress that side dress that with some some uh, uh, blood as well here's another one another cherry tree again I've been tired today look at how much is up on that trunk let's pull that back six inches off of that trunk and about four to six I think I got mine about six inches deep and there we go pull that back so you don't want that against it it will cause issues later rotting is what it'll cause or tree bore we'll use that as a path and go straight into your tree okay there we go that's good over here um, another one needs to be pulled back a little and it's not this one's not finished yet this is a um, my uh, what do they call that thing? Kiwi plant. I got it gated up like that because I don't know what it is, but the cats love rubbing on this plant. This is the only one in the yard they rub on, and I don't want them to pull it out of the ground and damage it or something like that. All right, let's get back to work. Cause it's almost. Let's get night almost. And I want to finish as much as I can. Up here. Now these uh, strawberries here. Uh, I'm going to mulch around those 
Um, keep those. Those are some beautiful strawberries. And these are my mustard greens. Had to drive over some of it with the tractor today to get this path because back in that trailer up is uh, something you know what it is. So I'm ready to keep rolling. The morning gardener. I'll be back. Okay, here I am. Morning gardener again. We did a lot of work here today. The big pile of uh, uh, wood chips is being moved around. Let me uh, let me show you what I've done. Uh, let me take you down to the wood pile. This is all what I've done today. This is all wood, fresh cut wood chips. And these are new beds. What they are are new beds. So my garden is actually branching out. This is where the trees are. I want y'all to look at that. Trash can lives because I've been moving stuff around, but look at that. Plenty of uh, wood chips around for these rose bushes, everything. But it all started with one trip. Um, uh, up in this aisle here, moving all of this wood chips. There we go. Trees are in the right places. This is going to be a new bed here. So that's that's two new beds here, and uh, all from and all that back there is also new beds up there at the further end of the. All right now. <laughs> and this is the left of the rest of the uh, twenty thousand pounds of wood chips that were dropped. Look at that, I put a heck of a dent in this stuff. And that's two days, this is day two. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen on day three when I'm working with the pile. But that's 20, that was 20,000 pounds of wood chips. Whatever you do, do not tell them to drop two times unless you know what you're doing. Because I found out what it was. No. Okay, so anyway, this is a new bed here. Next to my roses, I'm, I'm gonna plant some edible type foods in with it, with the roses. They're gonna be very pretty, and and what I'm gonna put in there is gonna be also attractive as well. Uh, so I'm, pretty soon I'll be able to get back my driveway. Can't get it up there now. Used to be a car parked in this spot. Then I'll be able to get the other car up in here, in this yard. Let the bodies hit the floor. Excuse me, I was kept thinking about that all day while I was working. And then in here. This is going to be filled out from here all the way to here, about a foot and a half out, maybe two feet, and that's going to be a, another bed. So it's going to be a bed here, the other one, and this new bed here with where the trees are. That is my Burbank and, uh, and the other alderman, I think it was, plums. These are two plum trees. They should do a lot better this year because they don't have any competition from all the weeds and, and uh, grass that was right here. That is the blackberry bush. It should take off because there'd be no competition. Again, with the two pears, there'd be no competition here. Uh, so all of the uh, weeds and grass will be held back. Uh, these two trees were very successful. Uh, they was cut back real hard this year. This is my um, uh, red haven. And this one over here is the um, Georgia peach. And I'm just showing you all these because they're gonna be crazy big time the spring gets here. All right. This right here is my two peaches. This is gonna be a bed too. This is gonna be a pretty good sized bed. Four feet from this wall here. And I think it's about, uh, I wanna say about 11, 12 feet long. And that's enough for most people to have a garden itself. But this is gonna be, it's gonna be a whole, uh, thing here and it's another bed gonna be here squeezed in the middle of these blackberry bushes it's gonna be squeezed in here and that's gonna be one bed it's gonna cut off right about there and then I'm gonna come up here now this this whole garden here is gonna be filled with wood chips it's gonna go all the way over to here connect into this pile here then go up to here where this cone is, it stopped right about there where that cone is. So all this is gonna be filled in. I'm actually gonna increase this garden space by six feet from over here to here. 
that's about six feet added in so that makes this space about 60 feet by 60 feet okay now up in here where the trees are that's my uh, cherry tree and I th that's a bank all this is going to be connected in you'll see it with clips I mean with add-ons of the you know wood chips all this is going to be filled in all of it is going to be filled in so the garden is actually going to get another 30 feet included into it. This is going to be one massive garden. All right, this is yours truly from the, and all this right here, look at all this. And you see these beds right here? That is, that there is um, onions and garlic. I better fill that in with uh, leaves before I turn off the nut. This right here. All right, so all this is going to be filled in. All right, later. The Morning Gardener.